Mind the gap. Let's play some Sun as Sea. Well, welcome back. Here we are. I've done a lot of running around, as you saw in the last episode. Built up the food and the fuel. Got a little bit of money in the bank. So we're in a bit of a better situation now. I'm sorry if that one was a bit boring, but I think it had to be done. Now, today, today I have a plan, which is going to come as a real shock to anyone who knows me well, but for once, yes, I do. But before we get into that, let's go through stuff in town, get ready to set sail again. So, in my lodgings, we can rest, which we may do. We can purchase a townhouse. No, can't do any of that. Can't do any of that. Can't do any of that. So, um... Uh, we have 110 echoes, so let's spend 10 of that. Rest. Um, it will reduce some terror, and I believe it gives us a, a chance of fighting nightmares as well. So, there we go. So we've gained a restful night, and we've lost 10 echo, but we've lost 10, 1 terror as well. Okay, so that's all we can really do there. So, um, can we do anything with the scholar? We can give him the strange catch, but I want to do something else with that. So we'll leave the university and we'll go and see the dark spectacled admiral. Um, I don't think we've done anything he wants yet, so asking what he needs is going to be a bit pointless, but let's submit some port reports. Um, we don't appear to have any port reports to submit. Okay. Right, this is becoming fun, isn't it? Right, London. We can carouse in the docks. Don't want to do that. Hire on more crew. We have ten. We don't really need repairs, but we will pick up some tomb colonists. Right, you now have three tomb colonists. That fits into my plans nicely. And let's have a quick look at what recruits we can get, just to see what they're like. Okay, so we can engage an officer, Maybe's daughter. Hello, where are you headed? On second thoughts, I don't mind. Can I come aboard? Yes, I'm an engineer, but I'm an engineer in a hurry. We already have an engineer, thank you very much. Engage an officer, the Presbyterate Adventurous. Hello, Captain, looking for a gunnery officer? I'd like to help you blow up some monsters, if you have me. <laughs> I like her. Engage a Zayla. We don't need a Zayla. Okay, let's have a quick look. Um, Alright, it will cost us 50 Echo. We only have 100. It will improve our gunnery. But I don't really feel we need it at the moment. So I think I'm going to pass on those for now. Okay. Uh, just check. Yes, we still have... Good Lord, we have 7 new possible new recruits. So, finally, as we are going up to Vendabite, let's pick up something that we can sell there. And it's not that one, it's not that one, it's actually that one. Right, casks of mus mushroom wine. We can buy those for 21 echoes and sell them for 23. So, as we're going in that direction, it's a small profit. But first, thinking about it, let's pick up a little fuel. Alright, so we've got 10. Let's get that up to 15 because I'm going to be doing a bit of sailing this time. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and half in the tank. That should keep us going for a little bit. We don't have much money left but let's buy some mushroom wine with what's left. So we'll just pick up a couple of those. That's a small profit on the way through. Okay. Right, now, this is the reason why um, I want to do what I want to do today. What I want to do today is I want to find um, Mount, uh, was it Mount Palmerston and drop off these unstamped crates of bottled souls. And we've had that, flo that offer floating around for quite a while now. And every time we've gone into tank, uh, into tank, into town, um, this, this value here, a visit from the brine bruiser, has increased. And it's getting up now, it's now up to 22, and I'm getting a little bit worried that uh, once it gets to a certain height, something nasty is going to happen to us. So that is one of the things we want to do. Now the plan here is we're going to go up to Vendavite, we'll sell off those tomb colonists, we will sell these casts of mushroom wine, that will make us a little profit, 
and I think we can do something with this strange catch which is why I've been holding on to it so without further ado let's go okay So let's uh, get out of port. Oh, what's happened here? The crawling stars. Cavern route are shifting a rare and ominous event. What now? Eyes on the deck. Forbid them to look. You can't really stop them, but you can at least discourage discussion. They won't like it, but it's safer. Or you can record the change and assign a name. If the new shape seems well omened, your crew may be cheered. Who knows? Well, personally, let's see what luck takes us. Oh dear. A darkness. Three of the false stars wink out altogether as suddenly as closed eyes. The pattern that remains is hopeless and meaningless as cast dice. Somewhere, Azela begins to sob. So we gain two terror and we're unlucky. Well, that wasn't too bad. And it could have gone well. Okay. So let's get out of port a little bit and then we will go to full throttle and get there a bit faster. But while we're here, this is the plan. Okay, now we are going to go up to Vendabyte and then from Vendabyte we're going to go east and we will stop at Moody's Light quickly to just to see what's there and then we will just carry on heading east until um, well hopefully we'll find Mount Palmerston if not we'll get a better idea of the uh, um, of, of the environment and uh, if we get start getting low on fuel we'll turn back and head back to fall in London but at least we've had a try so here we go out the port heading north a journey that's become quite familiar to us now. Let's up the speed a little bit. I need to check to see if going at full throttle it reduces fuel faster. I'm willing to bet it does. So if that is the case, I might actually lower the throttle a bit. In fact, I think I'm going to do that now. If it starts getting boring, I will cut out bits and pieces. A row of watchful Z-Bats perch on the ship's railing. Their heads swivel in unison as you cross the deck. Fed the crew. Bat. And thinking of bats, here they come. Hello, bats. Let's fight them. Right, well, this is becoming pretty standard now. So what we will do is we will just do that. I don't particularly want to observe them because we have a reasonably high terror. I don't want to raise it much more than we absolutely have to. Yep, we're going to need one more. That will get us over 50, I should imagine. There we go, well over 50. And we'll just start chucking some uh, shots at them. That'll do the trick. Oh, nearly. Next one will do it. And just in time as well. There we go. Okay, I don't really want them to uh, lower Terra. They don't lower them that much, so into the pot you go. We've gained one supplies. Right, and onwards. Nearly across this strait that we crossed so many times, but I think we're just about to have another visit. Still. It beats buying food, doesn't it? So, same deal. Three flares, and then we start shooting them. Hopefully, though, this will get us... Oh, yes, that's a good start. Hopefully, this one will get us over 50. Yeah, it got us exactly 250, so let's not bother with that flare. Let's just shoot them. Yes, um, bats are not becoming much of a threat these days. In fact, I might start cutting these fights out. Please let me know one way or the other. There we go, done. Okay, and into the pot with you, my guys. And off we go. 
while we're here, let's have a quick chat to talk to the pets. Ooh, play with your ferret. Unlocked with something awaits you. Let's have a play. A rat! The ferret rises like a serpent and streaks across the room like a discharged spark. At least in theory it does. In practice, it orients its head towards the rat, which disappears instantly in a puff of squeak. Ooh. Ferret with laser beam eyes. And what do you have to say to yourself? For yourself? Hello, busy now. But always got time for you. Can't do any of these things. Uh, you need key of faces one. Ooh. New story. Nice. And that's locked because we don't have any secrets. Okay. So I wonder if you've got anything new. Speak to increase mirrors, but no secrets. Okay. But we are actually getting needed 89 more fragments. And to be honest with you, that exploration is going to get us in a load of new fragments. So. We should be able to do some stuff there with them quite easily. On the horizon, a sickly yellow light glimmers for a moment, then fades. And here we are, back in Vendervite. get into port, do a little bit of business, and then off to Mount Palmerston. There we go. Okay. Uh, shops first. Let's sell these cars of mushroom wine. It's only made us four, but it's better than nothing. And we'll sell off these colonists. There we are. We're almost back to the point where we started before we bought the fuel. So that's good. Is there anything we can buy? We can buy supplies and fuel. Don't want to do that just yet because they cost twice as much as in London. And quite frankly, we still have quite a bit, so that's okay. We can sell recent news for Echoes, but I think I actually want to keep that for now. And we don't have any of the other items. Okay. So, let's go into the Tomb Colony first. Oh, that was my phone. Do apologize um, if you heard that. So we can explore Vendabytes. We can visit the first curator. Uh -huh. I think we've already done that one. We can gather gossip. Well, let's do that because that's worth um, a good 10 echoes when we get back. The Along the coast of the Undersea, it's remarkably hard to die. The decrepit and nearly dead who leave London become tomb colonists and settle here in bandaged peace. But they don't give up their ties to home or their politics. You gather a haul of complex clues, enough to keep your contacts in London interested. So, nothing new there, but let's see what else we can do. Right, let's explore. Let's see what we find. Okay, so... The Carmine Chapel. Ooh. A little chapel stands alone. You poke your head through the door. The walls are deep red, just this side of scarlet. A ruby-tinted window at the back glows with steady light. An electric lamp behind the glass? Rare and expensive. But this is no gas light. No one is here, and yet you have the sensation that only a moment ago someone must have been. So we can leave. We can make an offering. Uh, we can make an offering with half familiar rights, but we can't do that one yet because we don't have unaccountably peckish. Interesting. And we can search the place, which is a chancy challenge. But it gives us a 56% chance of success. I might actually try that one, but first of all, we don't have uncountably package, but we have an echo. Let's do that. Let's make an offering. An uncertain outcome. Prayer serves the soul, they say. Don't no, apologize. Prayer soothes the soul, they say. Your soul is not soothed. You wait, head bent. 
while the light in the chapel beats on, shadowless and unmoved. Nothing changes. The red of the place gets into your vision. The faces of the crew seem flushed, as if fevered. You hear your own breathing echo raggedly. No one is sitting in the pew behind you. It doesn't stop you looking. The scene will stay with you. Perhaps you can write of it when you return to London. Ooh. Okay, so we've gained some terror. That is a bit of a problem. We've lost an echo, and now we now have a tale of terror. Okay. And, oh, that is all we can do now. We can't go back there. Interesting. Um, getting a, a, a tad worried about our terror level. And if we had a bit more money, I would get a dusky glass of wine, because apparently that uh, reduces terror. But we can't, so we won't. But what we can do is drop off our strange catch here and have it turned into supplies. It's a matter of luck, it could go either way. The Ventures of Jonah is liberal in its approach to edibility. An adequate success. The final product is edible. If you close your eyes, it's probably better pickled. So we've gained five echo. We've gained a supply. We were unlucky and we've lost our strange catch. Well, that's not too bad. Okay. So, do we want to spend all of our money to reduce terror? We do not want to spend all of our money to reduce terror. So let's not worry about that one now. Um, we can try today's terror for 60 echo. Today's special for 60 echo. But again, I think... That no, actually, let's try it. Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. We were fortunate. We've only lost five terror. That was a bit of a waste of money, really, wasn't it? Um, but we've lost 45 hunger. So, okay. That wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Right. Okay, time's nearly up, but let's, at the very least, get uh, Hunter's Keep before we end this episode. So, let's go. So we'll be heading east now. Pretty soon we're going to be going into uncharted territory. Okay guys, what a question for the comments here, if you would. I've been trying to keep these down to 20 minute episodes, but it's not the fastest paced game, which is great, I think. But it does mean that not that much is happening in 20 minutes. Now I'm going to be recording a block of episodes here, so your decision won't be reflected immediately. But would you guys prefer 30 minute episodes? So if you could let me know in the comments, one way or the other, would you like 20 minute episodes or would you like me to up this to 30 minutes episodes? And there comes some bats for the pot. Way well, hey. Let's go. So, a couple of flares, well, three flares, and there we go. To be totally honest with you, these are not a challenge at the moment. These are just really an opportunity. 64. It's really an opportunity to get some food in, I think. It's still fairly obvious that we need to uh, increase our mirror's score. We're not doing bad damage. But we're not illuminating fast enough. But fortunately, we're still killing these guys fast enough. So into the pot. There we go. Right. Off we go. It looks like we've got a lighthouse just here. Something I've noticed in observation. that If you're in the light. Like, for example, if there is a lighthouse pointing its light at you. You don't gain terror. In all other cases, you appear to do so. Is there a docking point here? Is there a berth? It doesn't appear to be, sir. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Mm, okay, well, we shall head on east. Here we are at Moody's Light. And here comes tonight's dinner. Way hey. 
And there goes tonight's dinner. They must have heard me. A pirate. Let's have that pirate. Let's let that be the last bit of the game. Come here, Mr. Pirate. In fact, let me stop so you can get closer to me faster. Here we go. Fight. A pirate steam pinnace. Okay, we shall do the normal deal of a couple of lights. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck in... Actually, let's do it there. I'm going to stick an evade in a second light. Because the evade will reduce our illumination. Which is just going to make them a little bit harder. This might come back to bite me, but let's see how it goes. Um, the nice thing here is their illumination it seems to be using the slower one. But that will put that one down a little bit. There we go. Quite a lot, actually. And if that puts us over 50, it does. Let's get rid of that. We'll have... What should we do? Let's put us under... Yeah, let's have another one of those, and then we'll start shooting at them. Odd. Hmm. Very odd that they're picking that one when they're another ship. But never mind, it helps us. And it looks like they're trying to get up to. It looks like they were trying to get up to a hundred illumination to do big shops anyway. Okay, we can scuttle her, or we can take a chance and send her home with a prize crew. Let's do that one. We've got ten sailors, so that's a plenty. We have plenty of those. This seems like a good opportunity to see if we can make a bit of money. So let's do that. Okay. When you next return to London, return to your lodgings to claim your prize money. So we've lost two crew, but it looks like we're going to make some money out of it. Okay, chaps, that is 20 minutes. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly do. And next episode, we'll head east beyond the Iron and Misery Company and see if we can find Mount Palmerston. I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Sunder Sea. Thank you, and good night.